In today's video, I'm going to take you through an Edmonton map tour to help you understand our LRT system, our bus routes, our roads, how they all overlay, and our city quadrants and the references to real estate addresses. So it's really important because when you are looking for real estate online, you will see Northeast, Northwest, and Southwest directional references, but they are inaccurate. Stay tuned. You do not want to miss this information if you were thinking about making a move to Edmonton. This is the only video that is going to give you this critical information. So you've got to make sure you watch all the way through to the end so you do not miss out and think your dream home is in West Edmonton only to discover it's in Northeast Edmonton. Hey everybody, my name is Leanna Martins. I am a local Edmonton real estate professional. Welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. I publish two videos a week that teach you everything that you need to know about living and moving to Edmonton, Alberta. What's unique about my channel is that I do all the research for you and I provide it in the comments below so it's as easy as a click of a mouse for you to get all the information you need. So subscribe now to my channel so you don't miss a thing. If you are thinking about relocating to Edmonton, call, text, email, my team are specialists in supporting relocations and we would love to support you to make the transition with ease to Edmonton. So without any more further ado, let's get to the Edmonton map tour. All right, everybody. So let's have a look at the Edmonton city map. Uh, you can see Edmonton through here and then I'm just going to show you the surrounding area. So Sherwood Park is east of Edmonton. Uh, west of Edmonton is Stony Plain and Spruce Grove. Uh, kind of northwest is St. Albert. So you can see that the cities are very, very close. And it is, in terms of like your experience in driving through it, it is highway. You'll get a patch of highway from northeast Edmonton where there really isn't a lot before you end up hitting St. Albert, but it's like a 10, 15 minutes. And it's the same thing for Sherwood Park. Uh, to get into Spruce Grove, you're about 20 minutes. So this is a, a good possibility if you are considering moving to Edmonton, you like a smaller community and your real estate values are gonna be about $50,000 less on average just because land value is that much cheaper and builders then pass that on to the consumer. Uh, and then if you're looking at South Edmonton, you've got Nisku through here and Beaumont and Leduc if you go further, yeah. So there's lots of people that live in Leduc as well and they work uh, at the airport, for example. So I want to take you through first just to get an orientation of the roads and just the basics of our grid system for the map. So how Edmonton was originally built was if you go from east here all the way to the west, what happens is you end up with the smallest roads. So it's a really great way to understand when you see the numbers where it's going to be in Edmonton. So if you see uh let's zoom in a little bit closer for you there we go so 17th street so you can see that's a small number now if we continue to move west we're downtown edmonton that's 101st street so the numbers have continued to get bigger if i keep going west oh there's 142nd street if i continue to move west you end up at this is a main arterial right here at 170th street and then you end up here at the Henday. So use that to help you navigate as you look at addresses. You would see an address that uh, would have, let's say it was 17th Street, for example. You'd be like, oh, okay, well that's East Edmonton. So now let's take you through the avenues now that you've got the roads. So your avenues start small in the south of Edmonton. So let's zoom in to give you an idea of what exactly that means. So we are going to take you down to uh, just inside of the Henday. So 23rd Avenue. As we move north, you can see it goes to 34th Avenue. As I continue to move north, there's 63rd. This is going to bring us in and around the university area, 61st Ave. As I continue to move north, oh, look, downtown, 97th Ave and so on, 107th Ave. And you continue to get larger numbers the higher you go. So you get past the yellow head, look, there's 127th Ave, 153rd Ave, and so on. 
So if you see a, an avenue that might be 153rd Avenue, you know that it's North Edmonton. So there is a bit of a caveat to this because as we continue to build, things shift a bit. So the Anthony Hende was a newly constructed road in the last five years. And all of these communities that are outside of the Hende, this is where all the new communities are being built. This is where farmland is being um, consumed and new construction is happening. Now, what that means in terms of addresses and avenues is 23rd Ave, you can see 13th. So this is still in the Hende. But what gets a little bit confusing is once you go south of the Hende, which you would think it's gonna be smaller road, smaller avenue numbers. I, What ended up happening is they ran out. <laughs> so there's 13th Ave, and then if you only go to one, then it's gonna be a negative number. So you can see it's still south here, for example, in the orchards in Ellerslie, but it's 25th Avenue. And so they actually started to go back up with the avenues once they hit zero. So 25, you can see this goes to 45th. So that gets a little bit confusing if you are in the newer home construction. So remember that if you're in the newer home construction, it shifts a little bit. So now I wanna take you through some major highways to help you navigate how you will get around and what Edmontonians do and what that means to you. So the primary arterial routes from east to west are, if it's the North Edmonton, it's going to be um, Highway 16, which is the Yellowhead. The Yellowhead travels all the way outside. See, Yellowhead connects. It's a major arterial route outside of Edmonton that connects cities. So it connects through Edmonton and will take you from east to west or west to east. Now, if we go lower, the other major arterial route that will take you east to west is White Mud. So the White Mud will take you and it crosses the river and will take you all the way out. So if you zoom in, those are the major arterial routes, but then there are a few others that are very consistently used. So 118th Avenue is one of them. So 111th, here's 118th, but you end up taking a bit of a route around Kingsway. And then 112th, but you can go back up to 118th. Here is 112th Ave. 111th Ave is another, it actually turns into 111th Ave. 107th in the West End is a major commuter uh, that backs up with traffic as well. If you go further south of the river here, 63rd Ave is another that will take you. And then it turns into Argyle here. Uh, and then 34th is another. So if we go south of White Mud here, 34th Avenue will take you direct all the way across. So those are avenues. And actually I will add 23rd Avenue as well. So now I want to show you some north, south to north and north to south um, roads that, for example, let's say that you lived in southeast Edmonton and you wanted to get up here to northeast Edmonton. How are you going to get there? Um, these white roads here, you can see these are verticals and they'll take you straight up. So that's 17th. That is what's that one? 34th. Yeah. Uh, 34th and 50th. But the main arterial route is 50th. Well, I would say 34th and 50th. So right here, here's 34th Street. There's 50th Street, but it only goes so far you can see. And the, the primary road that's gonna be able to take you straight from South Edmonton all the way and connect you anywhere you need to be all the way up to North Edmonton, or if you need to connect to the Yellowhead and go west, is going to be 75th, which is Wayne Gretzky Drive. So I'm gonna pull you in here so you can see how far it goes. There we go. So it's a little bit, yeah, so 50th. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so what makes it a bit confusing is, so here's White Mud. Once you pass White Mud on 75th, let's say you're going south, it actually turns into 66. <laughs> and then it turns into 99. <laughs> 
and back to 66. So that's a little bit confusing for sure, but you would get used to it. So let's say that you're in Summerside, for example, and you wanna go all the way up to, let's say you wanna go downtown. Let's say you're meeting 78 Kingsway. So you hop on 66, keep going past the white mud there. Keep going up, it's gonna take you all the way through Mill Woods, keep going, and then it's gonna turn into 75th. And once you're on Wayne, Gret Wayne Gretzky, it's gonna pull you all the way up. 75th, there's Wayne Gretzky. Keep going and you then connect to the Yellowhead. So if you want it to be downtown Edmonton, you would then hop off, see so you're here. You would take the 112th Avenue East, down here, bada boom, bada bang, and there is Kingsway right there. So that is, and one of the, well, those are the primary roads south to north in the East Edmonton. Central Edmonton is going to be Gateway. So that's this right here, and this actually will connect you all the way through into Calgary. So you can see it goes all the way down. So this is Highway 2, and it's gonna take you, so you can see those South Edmonton Common right there, that's one of our primary shopping centers. And it will take you all the way through the center of Edmonton, turns into Gateway, and once you get to the North Saskatchewan River, you then will need to take a route to be able to get past the North Saskatchewan. But once you are in South Edmonton, that is the primary route, to get you out of Edmonton or anywhere central south. Now, once we move into southwest, primary roads, 111th. So 111th takes you from, these are the newer communities down here, McEwen, Richford, Allard, DeRoche. So you will take 111th Street, and it'll just pull you all the way up. Let's say you wanted to go to South Edmonton Common, you'd take a right on 23rd Avenue, and then you'd end up hitting uh, Gateway down here, and then you're right at South Edmonton Common. If you want to go downtown, you would continue taking 111th. Uh, you would likely, from here, go on to White Mud, then take Gateway North, Across the bridge and you're in Edmonton. Now once you are in West Edmonton you've got some primary roads that are used. So primary roads there's 142nd, 149th, 156th and 170th. So there is if people are living in West Edmonton working downtown for example uh, or living in let's say um, Radigan, Ramsey, Brander Gardens, Faulkner Heights, any of these areas, or even Terwilliger. What you do is you hop on the white mud, and then you take the 149th Street exit. So this is always majorly backed up. Um, 149th, 156th, uh, and then, like I said, 170th. And West Edmonton Mall is right over here. So these are the major roads. Uh, West Edmonton that will take you from south to north. So I hope that that's helpful. And now what I want to do is I want to overlay that to kind of give you an idea of our uh, LRT. So here is a map of the LRT that we're looking at right here. So you can see, which is a really great reference, is always to use the Hende, which circles Edmonton. And then you can see the North Saskatchewan River that goes through the center, right? Kind of northeast all the way down to southwest. So you can see there are five major routes and they're still building out the downtown to west route, which is uh, the energy line uh, and the valley line, southeast to west LRT, the valley line we'll say. Um, but that goes all the way down into the woods, right? So southeast all the way out to west. And this services all of the new communities that are, so there's really two lines of service all the brand new communities that are built outside of the Andes. So this is going to be Secord, Rosenthal, uh, Edgemont. And then, of course, when you get there, you're gonna, you'll have to take city buses to be able to get to your specific location unless you live that close right on the LRT line. And then down here, this is Heritage Valley, DeRoche, Allard, um, 
Yes, and all of those routes. If you are living in uh, right on this southern LRT line, so all of those communities um, are, let's say just, this is the U of A right here, uh, and any of the communities like McKernan, um, Allendale, Pleasant View, Belgravia, um, all of those, they have direct access, so it's very easy to get straight downtown, or it is actually very easy just to get straight to the U of A. So that's a great location to live in. And then this is east, kind of like, so you've got White Ave that would travel right through here, Bonnie Dune, Hollywood Strathern, Forest Heights, these communities, if you're living downtown, they're fantastic. Uh, this is a great location to consider uh, right through here um, if you're working downtown corporately, because honestly, you can be there in like, so you could, Take your bike and be there in 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. You could drive and be there in 10 for sure. And the other two might be a little bit longer, just depending on the times. So yes, that will give you an overview of our LRT. All right, so let's have a look at this. This is the uh, Edmonton Transit Service map. And there is a link in the description for you to see the day routes and the evening routes because they are different because the needs of commuters are different. So uh, this is the ring road, just to kind of use that as a reference point all the time. That's the Anthony Hende. And you can see how dense and how many different bus routes there are. Um, and you can also see uh, how they do connect quite well to the LRT routes, meaning those primary five LRT routes uh, how they branch out further uh, to be able to get people as close to their destination as possible through the bus route. So, all right, so this is what's extremely important for you to understand when you're looking at Edmonton addresses. So uh, what you will see is, so if you can reference, let me zoom in a little bit and hopefully help you guys see the ring road. So it's really difficult to see, but I will put it around there. There's the ring road. Now, what these are, those colors are in reference to the directional reference that you will see after an address. So see how it says Northwest up here? Well, Northwest, if you were to look at a city map, you would think it would be right here, right? Just down from St. Albert. And then over here would be Northeast and then down in the southwest, and then this would be southeast. Well, I do not know why, but this is how the city of Edmonton, so this is actually the city of Edmonton website. I wonder if I can show y'all. Yeah, so this is the city of Edmonton website that I'm sourcing this information, and that's, uh, and so when you're looking at a dress, what you can see is almost the entire city of Edmonton is considered northwest in an address. So even if you were looking at real estate in northeast Edmonton, it will still have an NW after the address. Even if you're looking at real estate in Southeast Edmonton, as long as it's above the Anthony Hende, it will still have a NW, Northwest reference, which is yes, indeed, confusing. Uh, so it only changes when you get outside of the Hende, which you're not looking at real estate anyways, like on your way to Fort Saskatchewan. So it's very unlikely you're gonna put a Northeast reference unless you're looking literally outside of the city. Um, and there's nothing over there really, like they're tiny, tiny, tiny little towns. Or you were to go to South Edmonton, South of the Anthony Hande. So that would be any of the newer neighborhoods. So that's reasonable and much more likely. So then you would use a Southwest. So anything in, for example, Ellerslie, Aller, DeRoche, uh, Windermere, Summerside, Orchards, Walker, any of those will have a Southwest reference. So it comes up, it'll come up the most when you come into town and you are Google mapping, uh, working with me and my team, um, uh, meeting us for showings and we're taking you around uh, where you end up clicking in the wrong um, auto-populated address and you end up in the wrong place. So I hope that this helps. And again, put your comments and questions below and I will be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope that I provided a ton of valuable information to help you understand 
the city addresses what they mean and where they are when you see a certain number so you can kind of approximate where it's going to be uh, and also just understanding the LRT system, the Edmonton City Transit, and get a sense of how that will support you if you need it and how you can utilize it to your benefit if required. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel so other people just like you can find the information that they need when they need it. And if you're thinking about making a move to Edmonton, make sure you call, text your email, and I will personally get back to you and me and my team will do the best job to support you to relocate with confidence and ease. Click on my next video to learn more about what it's like to live in Edmonton and leave your comments and questions below and I will respond. I'm excited to see you in the next video. I'll see you soon.